in uh, 2008, we're now two years later, and I, this is the sideboard in my dining room, and it's always full of fruit, fruit and flowers and uh, pots and teapots and jugs and so on. Usual subject for me, and I did this big exhibition. I rather expanded the uh, mirror, which has repeats the images of everything in front. I like playing around with mirrors, and one of my big, biggest exhibitions was called Mirrors and Shadows. It was it came to the Victoria Art Gallery five or six years ago. But this, this work was done, it's almost a sketch. It was done very rapidly. And uh, I could have gone on trying to perfect it, but it seemed to reach its best stage already. And this doesn't happen very often. So I'm very happy to, um, uh, it keeps a, it has a spontaneity uh, and uh, a sort of joy in, uh, it's a complex subject to work on. Some of my work is very quick and spontaneous, and then others are much more labored, I, because something has been wrong in them and uh, it's not going to work out. For instance, that one there on the wall with two jugs and uh, geranium and a bowl of fruit. I had put the chandelier I have a big chandelier in my hanging from the walls of my studio, which I bought in Paris from my landlady, who within whose in his room I rented for for about ten years. Uh, but finally, I the, uh, I paint, kept repainting it and changing it. The chandelier somehow, in the end, didn't work. I thought it was quite beautiful at its best stage. Uh, but there was a big empty space now on the top, top left. And I, I put two big jugs there, which I thought had the, the simplicity. So that's, that's the history, that's... And a lot of my paintings do go through periods of correction, where something is... <laughs> There's been some reason I haven't finished them, because I couldn't... I couldn't um, decide what was wrong. And... Uh, so... Either they're hanging on my wall or leaning against the wall. And I keep looking at them. And uh, somehow, uh, very often a year or two after, the, so the solution suddenly comes to me. And I, I know what, how the thing can be saved. And I, I call that... moment when I destroy in order to create fresh, uh, fr with fresh feeling. As I call it the no, Eureka moment. Eureka was when some Greek philosopher discovered something. Sorry.
this, I call it the bust with five pots. And uh, when I turned 80, I bought this uh, bust in marble, which uh, looks like a Greek. So we call it Alexander. But I think it is, isn't Alexander, it's someone else. But it's a fine piece, although it's probably only a copy. Uh, so it lives in my garden. And I put it into, occasionally into paintings. And in winter, I, I have to bring it in. And it, it's in, on my floor in the studio. And so that's... That's the, perhaps the most successful one I've done of that subject. But it's bringing the human figure into a still life arrangement. And uh, uh, I have several other pieces of sculpture figures that I like bringing into my work. Although sometimes my galleries don't, they prefer the pure still life with just flowers or fruit or something. <laughs>